All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm going to just do a very simple unboxing of the Fly Digi Apex Wireless Controller. Now, also what I'm gonna do here is give a massive thank you to Jeff0027. What it is, me and Jeff have been having a little bit of a thing in the comment section to one or two of my videos, and Jeff informed me of this controller. Now, just quickly, I, what I'm going to do is explain why I've got this controller. Jeff understands this, but I don't know if other people are going to kind of get this unless I explain it properly. So, here goes some boring stuff. What it is, you can use controllers on all kinds of stuff on Android if the game permits it to start off with. So a specialized controller like this isn't necessary. However, there are a number of games on Android where you can't use a controller natively, such as PUBG. Now with PUBG, I use an app which allows me to do key mapping over the top of the screen to reassign the PS4 keys to the touch commands inside the game now the problem with that particular thing is you can get a ban with it i've never had issues with it but it is possible to get a ban with panda pro game or panda game pro whatever it's called i'll flash it up now and a, and a bit of a picture of it right you can get a ban with that thing apparently i've never had any and i've run it on two different systems but this particular thing here this runs natively with its own app so with the panda gamepad pro that's what it's called with the panda gamepad Pro Beta. The problem is you have to have your Android device in developer mode. Then you've got to switch on like USB debugging and stuff like that. You then also have to kind of control it from a PC and all kinds of mad stuff. It does work and it's great if that's what you're after. However, if you just want to have a straight controller which isn't going to get you a ban and all kinds of stuff like that, this particular one actually has the function of its own app to do the screen drawing, which you don't have to go in to like developer mode you don't have to put usb debugging on or any of that nonsense so the one thing that i'm hoping i'm going to be able to do with this particular controller is to use it on the s7 in dex mode because the problem that i have with the panda gamepad pro beta blah 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 is as much as it works and it works brilliantly it doesn't work within decks so i'm hoping this does anyways that's the boring stuff out the way with i'll get on with the unboxing and then i will do a quick test to see if it's working it won't be a full game i just need to see if in theory this is going to happen and once again thanks very much to jeff as well for putting me on to this also there'll be links to this in the descriptions below okay so i'm just going to take the cellophane off this first of all now the lights are going to kind of get really reflected here on the box and what have you but yeah you know i can't avoid it it's just one of those things so let me just get this off quickly what i'm going to do is just have a quick run around the box and then i'll just get into it and show the bits and show what the actual controller looks like as well okay so there's the box there from the front there's one of the sides there there's the back of the box there and nothing else around okay there we go and if there's anything here that you want to have a little look at just pause the video as well okay so there's the outer sleeve off the box boxes took a bit of a hide on the way through oh i hope that's not going to be a problem so let's get in there yay so let me just pop this out a second and then We'll dig into the rest of the box. Oh, Mr. Mike Cable wants to get in on the action there. Oh, I've upset him. Hold on, give us a sec. There he goes. Out the way, Mr. Mike Cable. Goodbye. Right, so in here, what we have... Right, so we've got a user manual here. And I suggest, you know, you do read these things and what have you. Especially for something which has got a lot of functionality like this particular controller does. Because also, we'll see in a second, the controller's got a whole heap of buttons on there which are assignable and all kinds of stuff. Now, here, and I'm not going to open these up just yet because what it is... I probably won't need to use many of these things, if any of them. So I like to keep things as close to perfect as I can for when I resell me stuff, because I kind of go through quite a few things and try and pass them on as fast as possible if they don't suit me and stuff. But nonetheless, there are various controllers in here, or like, sorry, there are various receivers and such. So even if you've got a system that doesn't have, oh, do you know what, sod this. 
Okay, so there's the stuff that comes in the box then. Now just remember, this is not a review. I will be doing a review if all things go well with this. Right now, this is just an unboxing, so I'll flash through these bits. So what we have here are two USB cables. This one here is an extender, male to female. And then this one here, I'm assuming, is just only going to be for charging. So you plug the controller into a charger to power up its battery and stuff, or to charge its battery. However, this may also be something that can be used used to control as well if it is i will let people know about that once i do a full-blown review now interestingly here there are two dongles from what i understood the controller came with a dongle which basically put it on 2.4 gigahertz for those people who don't have a direct bluetooth connection to the device that it's going to be controlling but there's two here so i'm not entirely sure what they're for and to be honest i've just looked in the manual and the manual doesn't even show pictures of these things or tell me anything about them however if there are specifics about these things that people do need to know about i will definitely cover all that when i do the review okay so here is the sharp end of the stick then and this is the controller but it also has the clip on for attaching smartphones so let me just see how easy or not this is to get off okay so it's got some arrows there i'm assuming i just pull it gives a sec this might all go wrong Oh, actually, that was dead straightforward. There we go. It's just got like a little clip thing on it, which goes in and out there. Let's see. Yeah, mega straightforward. That's super easy, that. Also, as well, I've got to say, this doesn't feel particularly thin or nasty either. So the clip itself looks like it'll be okay. I mean, with any of these types of things, you've got to be careful with them. You can't go like, you know, throwing them around and all that stuff. But nonetheless, that seems fine. Now, there's the controller itself. And I have to say, it's, I don't know, I'd say it's okay. I've got I've got controllers which feel much better in the hand than this, maybe a bit more solid as well. I'm not saying it's flimsy or it's thin or anything like that. As a for instance, it doesn't quite have the weight or the robustness of say something like the Nvidia controller. Because when you pick this up, it really does feel like you could hit someone with that one. But this one, it's it's good, not quite the same as that. And also, it doesn't quite feel as smooth and nice as a Stadia controller like this one. However, these Stadia controllers are pretty much useless outside the Stadia, so not really worth comparing that to that, to be honest. And then that's what it looks like set up against a typical PS4 controller. And to be honest, PS4 controllers are my favourite, but that's only because I'm used to them. But again, it's not quite as, yeah, it doesn't quite feel like that does. And I don't have an Xbox controller to put it up against either, despite the fact that this is kind of like Xbox configuration. Anyways, nonetheless, it is not cheap and nasty. It's just not quite the same as some of the other controller options that are out there. So despite the fact that this would appear to be turning into some kind of a review thing and not just an unboxing, let me flash through what's on it. So underneath here, there are like a number of button options here as well, which is pretty cool. Also, there's some stuff here. Are there switches, not buttons? So I'll have to kind of work out what they're for, and I'll get into that when I do a full-blown review. Also, there's a mode button there as well for certain modes and what have you. Once again, I don't know what they are right now. This is not a review. And then on the front there, we've got our typical like top and bottom buttons and stuff. Around here, there's our two sticks, analog sticks and whatever. There's your D-pad stuff. Also, there's your normal kind of diamond array there as well. There's two controller buttons there as well. And then at the bottom here is our typical Android stuff. Okay, so there's all the stuff there that comes in the box and what have you. A couple of quick things to mention here. Once again, it's not a review, but apparently this is not compatible with MediaTek devices. So if you've got an Android device that uses a MediaTek CPU, apparently this isn't compatible with it. And also as well, at this point in time, it doesn't work with iOS either. It used to work with iOS apparently, but after one of the updates to iOS, it's stop working so you can't use it for iPhones and iPads and stuff like that however I've just downloaded beta 14 of iPad OS so I'm going to give it a try with that later and just see if anything's changed with that as well anyways I'm now going to quickly try what it is that I've bought it for and let's see if it works sorry one last thing it's also got RGB lighting on it for all those who are into that type of stuff however I can't work out how to change that just yet hopefully that will come in the future and then also there's a bunch of indicators down here for the likes of connect 
connectivity and stuff for USB charging, whether it's connected to Bluetooth and a couple of other things, which I will go into in another video. Okay, so what we're looking at here then is the home screen for the Galaxy Tab S7. Now, unfortunately, I can't go into dex mode with the app and the controller. It's got nothing to do with the app and controller. This is purely Samsung refusing to let certain things run within DeX mode and very specifically overlay screen function stuff, which is what is required to use key mappers. Now, just quickly, I'm just going to show you here. I've actually already pre run GFX tools, so all these settings will remain for the next go that I go into now. What it is, the game is actually going to be running internally, rendering at 256 by 1440 and everything else absolutely maxed out to high heaven there so this is the best possible quality we can see this the thing is this is not meant to be a review of PUBG it's not meant to be a review of the controller but you know I'm just going with it whatever comes out my mouth and whatever I do is going to happen so yeah it's going to be a botched job of a review and an unboxing I think now if we get into the controller here as we can see there's the apex one switched on hold on wait a second let me just come back out of there a minute now as, as I've just said I'm not in dex mode but I am in HDMI mirrored mode and as we can see here there are black bars to the side here, so that's pill boxing and the reason why that is is because when you're in mirrored mode it literally just takes the aspect ratio or the size of the screen and place it within side a 16.9 frame so that's the aspect ratio of the S7 placed within inside a 16.9 frame but importantly as well it gets outputted at 4k 60 so although it's not native 4k because the in, the game doesn't internally render at 4k the output gets kind of upscaled and all that stuff anyways back to the fly digi game thing here so what we'll do let's have a quick look here so like i say list of games here you can add games do all kinds of stuff you can even add apps and then kind of control apps and stuff like that i will do a bunch about this further down the line because what it is i've been playing with it for a little bit before i did this bit and i've got to say and i'll, I'll address this at the end of the video I really like the controller. I think I was a bit too premature in what I'd said earlier on. I think it's great. Anyway, so there we go. Apex controller is connected, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Now, let me just jump into PUBG. Now, what we're going to see here are all these little circles, which are the overlay areas for the key mapper. And very conveniently, with the left stick, if you click the left stick in, it'll get rid of them. Click them again, it'll come back. And if you have a look up here, there's a blue thing. Now, that blue thing, when you tap on that, it's going to bring up all this stuff to do with adjusting it and all kinds of things. To be honest, it's really dead intuitive. It's really straightforward. So let me just get back to here. Let's see, you've been retained, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, in fact, let me just find a map, which map do we want to get into? Um, I want to go to Miramar. Oh, have I got it loaded? Yeah, yeah, I've downloaded Miramar. Great. So what I'm going to do is get into Miramar. Let's start this up. Um, let's see, waiting for teammates starting. I'll oh, just get into a game, will you? Right. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just jump into Miramar here, do a little bit of a running around thing. Now, one thing to bear in mind as well, I will be using the mouse a bit. And the reason for that is, is because the controller isn't set up properly. Now, this is not a fault of the controller or its software. What it is, when this comes, it, it is already pre-mapped for the likes of PUBG and other stuff that it picks up. I mean, as I'm running around now, I'm actually using the sticks to do all this. It's brilliant. Like I say, what it does, it comes with like, you know, you know pre-mapped for certain things. But because we're running at such a high resolution, what it is, all these like little zones for the key map and they're not all in the right place and stuff because it'll all shift depending upon the resolution that you're running in and what have you. So right now I've kind of got the main ones done so I can move around, look up and down, shake my head from side to side and then I can punch stuff. What's this? That's jump. So there's a bunch of stuff there that I've got mapped. Now the chances are I'll spend a bit of time um, maybe go through it one afternoon and I'll probably make this maybe the same or as close to say I don't know Call of Duty because I tend to be playing Call of Duty uh, more often than most things at the moment and yeah I'll probably try and get me key map and very similar for all the basic stuff okay so what I'm going to do is jump out 
I don't want to go too near people at the moment because I don't want to be getting killed straight away. Let's see if I can get down here and see if I can't get killed. Oh, look at this. Who's jumping out here? I'm going to get out of straight away. I'm not used to this controller yet or the key mapping. It's not fair. <laughs> right. So what I'm going to do is get down here, grab grab some tools and stuff, you know, get some weapons and whatnot. And uh, I'll just do a little bit of a walk around. But watch this here. So... You know, all I mean, I know this just looks like I'm being crazy up in the sky and stuff, but I'm con I'm controlling that with great finesse. It's brilliant. I really, really do like the controller. And the door, they had a quick little blast at it just on something else before, and it felt as if the sensitivity was really good for me as well. Because what it was, I jumped in a vehicle as well quickly to see what that was like. Because usually, when I use the GamePad Pro. What happens is the sensitivity between, like, say, the vehicle and just running around doing this stuff, it's too different, and I end up kind of going all mad and crazy in the cars and stuff. I mean, I, dr I drive like a mad person anyway, but it just gets ridiculous. I can't do it properly when I've got the, uh, the you know, the controller set. Actually, I want that one, don't I, I think? Actually, do you know what? I've got my headphones on. Give us a sec. <laughs> what it is, I won't be able to hear anyone coming up on me here, right there. Let's see, so let me get around here. So I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna tool up a bit. Oh yeah, there's all my tools there. Great, all in one go. Right, and now I think people don't really wanna hear me like talking lots of crap and all the rest of it running around aimlessly like a big divvy. So what I'm gonna do, grab a few more bits and pieces here and get out and let's have a picnic. <laughs> right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some more bits and pieces here get a bit more ammo and then I'll try and find where the people are and let's go and have off some of the people okay right so give us a second now I'm just gonna fast forward through some stuff here and let's go and select some little cuts where hopefully I can do the people in Look at me chickening out there, sitting on the floor. Oh, what a loser. Come on, get in there and do him in. There we go. <laughs> right, I never do that stuff, you know, where you see people just crawling all over the floor and all that thing. That's like, I don't know, it's just like being a big chicken, isn't it? Anyway, I noticed that uh, an automobile vehicle over there, so let me see if I can drive the car any better <laughs> with this controller. Right, hold on. Um, actually, there's normally some decent swag in these buildings, isn't there? Unless somebody's already been here. No, let's see what's down there. Okay, so get some ammo there. Right, I think I need to alter a little bit of sensitivity here and there. Uh, stuff's going a little bit wonky every now and then. But again, you know, that's just because I've not I'm not used to the controller or, or the software. It's not being set up or anything like that. And these things do take time to kind of get sorted though, you know. I, again, I'm used to something else. I mean, this isn't me making excuses or anything like that. Um, because there's no excuses to be made. This is it really is. I like the controller, it's decent. Uh, I'm just used to certain button configurations, that's all. Although I'm not having a problem here jumping around doing certain things, so that's all good. Okay, so let me get into this car here. Let's see what's going on. Now, is there anything there? Hold on. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, person, people. Oh, that's far too much magnification. Yeah. <laughs> The time six on that gun isn't really good, is it? Right, hold on, let me see what's here. Go ahead, he's got some cool stuff. Let's have some more of that weapon uh, ammo. Okay, so I'm all tooled up there for ammo on one thing. Right, that C button there, I'm not too sure what that is. I need to go the other way. Let's see what I'm gonna be like in the car here. Actually, hold on a second. Let me just double check something here. Vehicle, let me put it on that one a sec, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's see. So the way I've got this done now, I don't know. I haven't got booster signs, so I can't go boost and stuff. But I tell you what, 
Let's see if we can catch up to this tool here. <laughs> Hello. It's Uncle David here coming to give you an oil check. Stop your car. Oh, don't drive off so fast. I can't find my boost button. <laughs> I can't drive either. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're, oh, oh, oh that was lucky. And oh, what happened to you? Do you know what? I don't know what happened today to that second guy, but yeah, the other one, why did he jump in front of the car? What a tool. Oh, I get you. There's somebody else here. That's what happened to the second guy. Okay. Right, let me try and... Oh, there's someone up there, isn't there? I wonder. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to be quiet in case they can hear me, because I'm really loud. Hold on. What am I doing? Right. Actually, I'm, I'm having a bit of fun here with this controller. I do like it. So. I can't get up there. No. Oh, the other problem is here. I don't know where reload is. Right there. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> That's useful. Right. The only problem is I'm on a, I'm on a very long scope here. I could have done with a times two for this. Uh, look at this is me trying to concentrate. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> uh, I used to be all right at this game, but I started getting into COD. And uh, that COD mobile is just fantastic. I don't know if anyone plays it, but yeah, it's ace. And plus also it, it runs really well on like relatively low powered systems as well, COD. The thing with, the, with, with PUBG, it's got way better graphics. Uh, massive maps by comparison, but you to get the best out of PUBG, you really do have to have a decent like machine that it's on, whether that's a phone or a tablet, or even if it's just something like um, a PC, you know, running X86 or something, or Android X86 or something. Where are these peoples? Sounds like there's one coming this way. Yeah, goodbye. Now, I bet you he's got a few buddies banging around, hasn't he? He wasn't just running around Miramar on his own, minding his own business with a frigging gun, was he? Right, hold on. Oh, this is where I start getting a bit ch chickeny now, because I've got a feeling there's a couple of more people around there. Hmm... Do you know what? I, I'm, I probably demonstrated enough anyway as to what this controller is like. Yeah, I mean, all that kind of zoom stuff or, you know, getting in on the scope. That's all the controller. Yeah, if I get, look, if I get add off here now, I think we'll have had a little decent run with this. Oh, yeah, the safe zone's collapsing. Right. I've just pressed the wrong button. I'm sitting there going, I'm getting used to this controller. It's great. And then start pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. Right. I think, is there somebody up there or on that building? Oops. Yeah. Someone's up there. Now, would I be too mad to go in? Because this person's obviously got the high ground here. Hmm. Oh. oh, there's a couple of them in there. Right. Ah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Anyways, I think that'll be enough of a demonstration of the controller. Let me just get to do a little bit of an NPC here. Huh? Okay, so it's now the next day. I just didn't realise how much I did when I was doing this unboxing thing, which 
ended up not being an unboxing but some weird review unbox thing anyways it was what it was at the end of all this what i've got to say is this controller i think is awesome now earlier on in the video i was comparing it to other stuff and i was kind of casting doubts on it and stuff like that ignore me i'm just a big fat idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about this is a really nice controller and i think if you're a proper gamer not just some loon like me who just likes to mess about if you're a proper gamer i think you're going to get a lot out of this controller it's fantastic anyway there'll be links for this in the description and stuff and i will be doing a ton of other stuff with it i'm going to be using it on my phone and stuff like that and more stuff as well on the s7 now just to round this off as well once again thank you very much to jeff for putting me onto it and listen buddy when yours comes through as well i think you're probably a better gamer than me you're gonna like this better than i do anyways i think that's enough of this now if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel clicking on the bell notification icon and all that funky stuff i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now